Okay, so that one I know is alive. Just stuck there trying to avoid me messing with it. Now this one, this one I'm not sure if it's alive. I also don't know what it is. Maybe it's like an exoskeleton? Okay, so it looks like it's dead. Okay. It's not flinching when I do anything. So that one I think is like just a skeleton or dead. Now this one. Hopefully it didn't get crushed when it went into the wall. I don't really see how that would happen, but... Okay. Because it did move earlier. So I know that that one shouldn't be dead. Hmm. Maybe it got stuck in the wall? Because I did see it moving earlier. Huh. There's a weird gleam from it in the phone, but not IRL. Hmm. Okay. So, did it get stuck in there? Because it was moving earlier. truck comes through. You know, it's actually pretty good camouflage. You can barely tell that it's an insect. Looks just like a dead leaf type thing. Like, honestly, given the shadows, you might not even... It's pretty hard to make out that, yeah, that is in fact a bug. It's actually pretty clever camouflage, I'll give it that. Looking like a leaf. Hmm. Actually, that would make sense. If you have a body shaped like a leaf, and that will make it harder to recognize for like non, like certain species. And seeing as, do birds have color vision? I think birds have pretty good vision, so I don't know if that'd be necessarily a good thing, but... Hmm. Why did cockroaches evolve to have that... And why am I always so fascinated by cockroaches? I think that's probably the better question. But, uh... Yeah, because you have, like, the weird leg that looks like a stem. So from where I'm sitting, like, if I hadn't seen it go there, I would probably have thought that it was just, like, a leaf. Hmm. So, why does evolution... You know, that's an interesting question. Why are there different amounts of legs for different species? So, like, most mammals have, like, four, like, appendages, whereas insects have, like, six. Is there, like, a greater mobility or no? I guess it ultimately depends. So for, like, bigger... Huh. I guess there is also a quote... And then again, amoeba, I don't have any appendages, so... No, there's an, I don't really see that correlation. And fish also have no appendages. But at least in the case of the fish, that makes sense. They're underwater, having appendages. Okay, I guess they kind of do for, like, grasping at stuff. Like, angler fish, but that I don't really think that counts. I mean... It's probably just a weird byproduct of evolution. <laughs> like, it probably doesn't actually, in fact, act like affect survivability 
And then again, I mean, humans' bipedal nature actually did help us. So, does insects' six-leggedness help them? So, you have to have three legs for stability. So like two, it's pretty easy. If you have three well-placed legs, that's fine. But then again, bipedal, it knocks you back. You can, okay, so geometry isn't really helpful here. Hmm. That is an interesting question. Why do certain species have different numbers of legs? Okay, I don't really have a good answer to that. Because if it was a stability thing, you'd imagine they'd all have similar. So it could be a size thing. When you're smaller, you need more legs for scampering, maybe? Like, humans don't need to, like, move in such a way. Maybe? Um, it's probably the best I've got. <laughs> Okay. Okay, there we go. It's alive. So it was just trying to camouflage itself then. Okay. I won't bug you from here, Mr. Bug. I just want to study you. Okay? Which... Okay, in hindsight, that actually is probably bugging you. <laughs> then again, I kind of like being watched, depending on how things are actually going, so... Do bugs like being watched? I know that... They don't like being messed with, I know that. Like, then again, I don't like being poked either, so that, that I can actually respect. Mr. Bug, do you like being watched? Is it okay if I'm videotaping you? So, evolutionarily speaking, would being watched be a good thing? So, if it's from a predator species, the answer would be no, because they would just go for you. Now, if it's a prey, they would hide from you. So, in most cases, stealth is a good thing. So, I'm guessing the bug doesn't want me watching it. But then again, as a predator, getting more information on where a given species is going to be, how they're going to interact, would be evolutionary advantage. So, as a predator, being able to study your prey would be useful. So, they probably don't like being watched, but watching would be useful. Hmm. I guess that'd be kind of similar to celebrities. Like, a lot of celebrities aren't comfortable in the eye, but you can live vicariously through them and pick up lessons from how they interact. I guess that, but then again, a lot of celebrities do like being watched. So where does that come from? Like, the nail that sticks up gets hammered down. I guess it could be like a sexual selection type thing. So like, people who like being watched, like the weird pompousness points in the direction of like vitality, Okay, so it could be like a sexual selection type thing. Okay, well, that makes sense enough. Hmm. Maybe the legs help keep it stick to the wall? Because how it's not being affected by gravity is actually kind of impressive. Probably just like a suction thing, I know. There are insects who have that. Hmm. Actually, is there a weird... Why does it have like one weird brown spot to it? See if the camera can stabilize itself. 
Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but I think you can look at the brown spot on it. But it's just like one. Maybe it's just like a dead leaf type thing. Yeah, it's probably just part of a dead leaf. Hmm. I do find it fascinating, though. What? <laughs> Again, there aren't a lot of ant hills around here. Hmm. What else? watching this, wondering whether or not it's comfortable being watched. But then when I reflect, as some weird madman just studying a cockroach, then again, would I be uncomfortable having people watch me and just come up? I mean, it is late at night, so I doubt anyone's going to be walking around here. <sighs> yeah, how long has it been going? Shit, like 12 minutes. <laughs> uh. What is it about cockroaches that gets me thinking? Is it a metaphor? It could be a metaphor that you have to analyze the bugs in society. Because if you don't look at the bugs, then you're not going to be able to fix the overarching problems. And bugs are symbolic of the problems. <laughs> I mean, it actually kind of works. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll leave that there. I'm the stupid, pretentious 